let's start with the shorts. I'm going to start with the skinning. So the shorts are skinned to the skeletal system. I'm going to select it, go to skin, unbind skin. I'll make sure that it actually detached from the rig. So I'm going to go like that. Yep, it detached, so we're good. Next, I'm going to remove these control-driven blend shapes at the waistline. There's about five of them here. So I'm going to go into the shape editor and narrow down my selection to the jean shorts right there. Minimize all this. So I'm looking for the jean shorts. I have a master blend shape that is right there that is holding all the blend shapes that are being piped to the shorts. So that's going to stay because there are some blend shapes I don't want to get rid of. The pockets, everything that controls the opening of pockets in the front and in the back, I want to keep. So I'm not going to lose them, but everything else is going to go. So the ones that are going to go is the ones at the top that are tugging at the belt line. So they're going to go, I'm going to delete that. And then there's another control driven blend shape here that controls this bridge right there. There's three of them and they're all under there. And I'm going to delete that too. And these are two other blend shapes that are not going to be needed either. They are corrective morphs that are needed for the shorts as the body's deforming. We're not going to need them anymore. So I'm going to trash them too. So that leaves the shorts and the master blend, uh, sorry, the pocket blend shapes and the master blend shape. Now I'm going to move to delete the controls that they come with. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to frame them in here. And that's all of them. Some of them come in groups. So I'm going to make sure to grab the groups. So that's that guy. Three, four, five. So that should be five controls. I can hit the delete key. So that gets rid of them. Now I can get rid of these controls. It's three of them. Three groups. One, two, one, two, three. Delete them. Okay, so now all the blend shapes I don't need are gone. Next, I'm going to get rid of the control systems that I created for the loose hanging fabric. There are four ribbon systems and three regular FK systems. So let me start with the ribbon systems. I'm gonna select the master controller, the global control of the ribbon system. And it looks like I have them in a group, all four of them in a group. So I can select all, I can delete all four of them at the same time. So I'll select that, hit delete. All right, so that gets rid of them. Now the FK, controls three of them I'm going to frame in the outliner so I can gain access to them there's one two three yep those are all the three systems and they seem to be housed in a group too so I think I can get rid of all of them at the same time all right so I'm gonna hit delete to get rid of those systems I'm also going to show joints because all those control systems came with joints. So I'm going to go all and get rid of the joints hierarchies. Let me frame in here. So jean shorts. They can go. Yes, they're all in a group. And the ribbon systems also have some joints left behind. Sure they're all in the same place. Yes, they all appear to be underneath there. Okay, so 
grab the parent group that holds all of them and delete. Okay, so that gets rid of all the controls with the loose hanging fabric. I am also going to delete the geometry because it was modified for the control systems. I went and cut and split apart the geometry so I could control just what I wanted. Not going to need it anymore, so that's going to go to, I'm going to select it, select the little pieces. Actually, I'm just going to select one of them, go into the viewport, and they all are under a group. So I'm going to select parent group and delete them. And I have the original mesh hidden in the layer here. So this is the one that we're going to use with the end cloth system. Next, I have a sculpt deformer that allows me to shape the butt the sculpt deformer is impacting both the body and the jeans. I had to do that because I had to create a unique skinning for the jeans. So I have custom attributes that allow me to control both. Let me clean up this viewport a bit before I start. Let me go to show, just show the no joints, no follicles. And I'm gonna hide my hip controls. And these are the sculpt deformer controls, these right there. So it allows me to mold the butt uh, the glutes at the bottom and the top both sides have controls and I can also just come in here and if the geometry over there is collapsing too much I can just set a displacement a maximum displacement to allow me to swell it and push the collapsed geometry in all right so to get rid of it I'm going to select the shorts come down here and that's both of them. There's one for the right side and the left side there. Okay, I'm gonna select this left side. Go to select by name, paste it in here, hit enter. I should have it selected and delete it. So that gets rid of that one. Next one is that one, the right side. Command C, Control C, select by name, hit enter, should have it selected and delete it. So that should get rid of it on the shorts. Make sure of that. Yes, it's gone. But it should still be impacting the underlying glutes of the character. I'm expecting the end cloth to interact with it very well. So whenever the underlying glutes change, I want to see what uh, it does to the end cloth and I'll make the necessary changes if they're needed. There are a few other features that I'm going to leave intact. One of them is this button. It's held in place with the help of a proximity pin. The button is parented to a locator and the locator is has a proximity pin applied to it which allows it to stay in position, stay right there by the shorts. The other thing that I will not be getting rid of is a network of wrap deformers. This stitching over here is wrap deformed to the pants. The belt loops are wrap deformed to the pants too. The belt loops stitching is wrap deformed to the belt loop. And the small pocket here, this utility pocket, is wrap deformed to the inside of the pockets. And its stitching is wrap deformed to it. And same with the back pockets. Back pockets wrapped to the pants. And the back pocket stitching is wrap deformed to the back pocket. But one wrap deform that does have to go is this one on the inside of the pockets because this one is wrapped to the body. And now that we're going with an end cloth system, it's no longer the body's responsibility to deform it. So I'm going to get rid of it. So let me select it, come down here. I did a pretty good job naming it. It's right there. So it's wrap front pockets to body. I'm gonna select it, paste it up in the select by name window, hit enter and delete. And it should be gone now, but I'll just make sure by selecting the control system, turning on the hips and moving. Yes, it's no longer attached. All right, so that's it for the shorts. The shorts is completely stripped of all the controls I don't need. So let's move on to the jacket. So for the jacket, what I'm not gonna touch are the buttons. They are also being held in place by a proximity pin. And I also won't touch this K logo. That's also wrapped deformed to the jacket. 
I'm going to start by turning on all the controls for the jacket. So I'm going to select the upper torso controls and come over here and turn all jacket controls on. I have primary, secondary, and tertiary controls, and I have some additional sort of like quaternary controls that come with the ribbon system. So I'm going to get rid of the ribbon system first. I'm going to select, I have two in the front, one in the side, each one on each side, and two in the back. So I'm going to select them, frame them in the outliner, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. And that's everybody. I'll just go hit delete. Yikes. Okay, let me undo that for a second. I should have started off by unbinding. Okay, so I'm going to select all these. These are all skinned meshes. I don't think anything is... All these have skin clusters. Yes. So I'm going to start with meshes select each one of them and go skin unbind okay and now if i select the jacket ribbon systems i should be able to get rid of them all with the delete okay the next thing that's going to go is the blend shapes. I, I'm not going to get rid of the master blend shape. The master blend shape is what I pipe all other blend shapes through, all blend shape fixes and stuff. So I'm not going to get rid of this because I intend on using it to make fixes. If I have penetrations during simulation time with N-Cloth, I want to be able to have the option of fixing them with blend shape fixes on this mesh. So I'm going to try to get everything else around it all the other blend shapes I don't need. All right, so I'm going to go into the jacket. This, they're all different pieces, so they have different blend shape groups. So I'll start here. I also have a group of blend shapes that are permanent fixes. They are like modeling fixes that I did in post, post rigging. So I'm gonna leave that intact. So I'm just gonna select all of these, trash them, move to the next part of the jacket. Another permanent fixes, I won't touch that, but all of these trashed there it is okay so that trash and then the last one is that one leave the master alone and get rid of these two okay so that should clear away all the blend shapes now it's time to get rid of their control system so i'm going to see if i can get groups to Get rid of them all in one sitting. Yeah, that's all of them right there. I should be able to just select all of these. And delete them. Same thing on the other side. The all groups. They can all be selected. Delete it. This is not a control. It's attached to the body. So yeah, let me clear all these. These are jacket dependency nodes. For collision. Okay. And we have some on the torso. drag that has to go to jacket collar controls that has to go pretty much everything on here that's associated with the jacket has to go and there was one more I think I just saw it's that one it's also a jacket control that has to go away and now I do have joints to also get rid of. There were a lot of joints associated with the ribbon controls. So I'm gonna come over here, show all, and see if I can find a location where they're all, a place where they're all located. Yet they're all under a group here. And that should be all of them. And delete. Hide the 
the joints. And then there's just the sleeve controls left. And they should, let me do them one by one. Frame, get in there, that's the right side. And the left side. Okay, I think the last thing to do now is get rid of the custom controls that were toggling off all the controls I just deleted. So I'm just going to select all three, go edit and delete attributes and also delete the one for the quaternary control. So I'll go edit, delete attributes and that's it. So the jacket is stripped. So we're ready to move on to the next lesson. In the next lesson, I'm going to start working on the simulatable proxy cage that these clothing are going to be connected to. I actually forgot one more thing that I noticed while I was reviewing the video. This fabric, this ruptured fabric, it's a single mesh and it's still wrapped to form to the body. So when I move the body, it's still attached. So that has to go too. So I'm going to select that. Select the wrap deformer fabric innards to body. Copy. Get it in there. Hit enter. And delete. And it should be gone now. Nothing else is attached.